Totem poles exemplify West Coast art. But their true purpose was to inform. They were physical declarations of a family's status and hereditary rights. Totem poles are sculptures carved from cedar trees, which tell many stories. They proclaim individual histories and hereditary rights. They memorialize legends, events, and chiefs who have passed on. Early mortuary poles have grave boxes worked into the design that held the remains of the honored deceased. Totem poles were first seen in the Queen Charlotte Islands, carved by Haida artists. From there, the art form soon spread to other tribes along the Canadian Pacific coast, including the Tlingit and the Shimshian. After a decline due to a government ban on cultural expression, carving made a remarkable comeback in the 1950s. Haida poles are often distinguished by their use of the watchman, a small human wearing a conical rain hat and usually carved in groups of two or three at the top of a totem pole. Their purpose is to guard the village. It is often said that the totem pole is red from top to bottom, with the most important figure at the top. But the true story lives with the carver. It was customary to let the poles deteriorate. They were soon replaced because a change in status almost always called for a new pole. And they spoke volumes.